Well, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna try to catch some minnows here. I'm gonna set up a minnow trap. Never been here before. And set it out with some bread. And we'll see if we can catch some, some minnows. I'm in the jungle, baby. Blackstone River, Massachusetts. There it is, there it is, it's beautiful. Who needs those sleep machines when you have little waterfalls and the Blackstone River? Here's a first look at my sunfish natural tank. I just put in some uh, rosy minnows and I fed them live worms before just so the minnows have a fighting chance. I don't know if they're going to last the night. We'll find out in the morning. But how cool is that? Sunfish in natural environment half the water was taken from the pond that um, plant floating is natural to the environment and they are just hanging out they each ate three worms full size night crawlers each now I got 12 rosy Minnows in there. We'll see how long they last. Well, next day, and the rosy minnows are no longer. I woke up this morning and there wasn't one rosy minnow to be had. So I don't know if they ate, they ate the minnows through the night or they at first light um, got hungry and cleaned it up last night there was 12 this morning zero that's pretty impressive after eating three night crawlers a piece the night before and then 12 minnows Possibly during the night or in the morning. Probably in the morning, I would guess. But pretty impressive. I mean, the minnows weren't big. They were pretty small. But for these two small sunfish to completely devour them, uh, I thought it was impressive. There's the update. No more minnows in the morning. likes it. Oh, there's the big one. Freeze-dried blood worms. guys since I put on the heater it's made a big difference in their attitude their activity level it's up about uh, 70 75 degrees and 
made a big difference. Put them in, it's in the basement here, and it's pretty cool. It was only maybe 70 degrees before the heater, if that, maybe a little even less. And they didn't do much. And then now uh, look at them, the big guy, they're usually hiding. Is uh, He doesn't like the light. He's in the light right now, but usually he hides in that half flower pot there to the left. But he likes it warm. Sunfish. They do like, it uh, makes sense, cold blooded animal. But they do like it warm. That's a big difference. One day, putting in a heater. Now I have both fish very active, willing to feed, uh, defending their little homes within the home here. And the bigger one is quite aggressive towards the smaller one, which is fairly uh, common, I would think, in nature. But look at him go. He likes the blood worms. That's the big one. Little guy ate his fill already. He's on the right. Oh, back in his home. He loves that spot. Well, I did catch two fish in the minnow trap. First time I caught something in the trap today. A rainy day in the Blackstone River Valley. Blackstone River. And I put out some bread, minnow trap. And I caught two baby sunfish, looks like. So I'm going to put those in the tank. I'm not sure what's going to happen with these two. Um, much larger sunfish. We will see. I set up some caves and little nooks and crannies to hide in, so maybe that'll help. I was originally going for minnows for, to feed these guys, but now I get two little baby sunfish. We'll see what happens. I hope for the best. Alright, check this out. Oh, ho, 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 Worms. Look at this guy. Look at him. Ready? Boom. Let's see what happens when we let out the, the baby minnows and see what happens to the, the little rosy minnows didn't last too long, um, but we'll see. I'm excited to see how long these guys last. Little baby sunfish caught in the minnow trap. Cool. Stay tuned, hit the bell for updates. We'll see how long they last. I hope hope they last a long time. We'll see. Alright. Well guys, it's the next morning. And look at what we got. We still have the two baby sunfish. They made it. They made it through the night. And these big guys don't seem to be bothering with them. It's amazing. They are small though. I don't think the, the big guy could even eat them. They, they're, you know, they're a little too big, but that is cool. Hopefully they'll stick around. They all seem happy and healthy. They really do. 
Everybody's swimming and eating and um, you know, hopefully that, that continues. So we'll keep monitoring their progress and hope for the best. I think we're we're out of the woods. So I'm happy to see that. That's pretty cool. You see that one little guy swimming through the hole there. And um, the other one's in the cave, but awesome. They made it. And they're not really uh, being chased too much. They're being left alone by the big guy here. So that's great. So we may have four. I'll probably get a new tank and put them in it and spread them out a little bit. But um, for now, we're, we're going to go with this one. So, all right, guys. Well, they made it. Made it through the night. Babies made it. So that's great news. Thanks for checking in. Talk to you later.